Hi folks, this is Don, and I want to show you a neat trick that you can do in StatCrunch that would help you out on some of the homework and possibly quiz and exam problems. This is a uh, practice problem from the homework, and it says we have a random variable x that has the following discrete probability distribution, complete parts a through f. And we're given a table here that we've got values of x, 1, 4, 6, 7, and 9. And we've got the probability of each of those discrete values, 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 1 tenth, 1 tenth, 5 tenths. The first part is pretty straightforward, but let me show you something. Anytime you have a unique um, probability distribution, particularly a discrete probability distribution, uh, you can use StatCrunch to really make this problem go much quicker. So I'm going to click on the little icon there. I'm going to copy this data into StatCrunch. And now we've got the data in StatCrunch. We've got a column labeled X and a column labeled P of X for the probabilities for each one of those discrete uh, values of X. Let's go to Stat calculators, and I think I've shown you before all the various calculators that you have there, the ones we use a lot, of course, the binomial, the normal, the T, but there's also this thing called custom, and for these types of problems, it's really very helpful. We're going to create a custom calculator. The values of the variable X is in the column label X. The weights or the probabilities are in the column label P of X. And we just click on Compute. And we build a neat calculator here. One, we've got our bar chart. Not quite a histogram, obviously, since it's discrete. But we show the values there of this is 1 with 1 tenth. There's no value of x of 2 or 3. We've got a value for 4, which is uh, 2 tenths. No value for 5, a value for 6, a value for 7 no value for 8, and a value for 9. I think that's, yeah, correct. And if, for example, uh, it defaulted there, it gives us the mean and standard deviation of the distribution question that you will probably see, how to get the mean standard deviation for a unique or uh, discrete probability distribution. Here it came up with the answer, the probability of x being less than or equal to 7 is 0.5 and that would just be the sum of 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 gives you 0.7. But what about the probability exactly 7 which is 0.1? The probability of greater than 7 which would be over here just the value of 9 at 0.5. The probability less than or equal to 7, we already done that one, Probability of less than 7, which would be 1, 4, and 6.4. So very, very quick way to do these discrete probability distribution problems in which you have a unique distribution. You can use the custom calculator and stat crunch to do it. Hope this helps. Mm -hmm.